Hello, lovelies. It's Friday the 13th of January. Just realised that, Friday the 13th, magical number, goddess number. And today we are on the last day of this 20-day cycle, Yellow Rhythmic Sun. And if you watch my other videos, you'll see my doggy friend Harry with me. And this is his Mayan day today. So he was born on the 28th of April last year. So he's now done a full nine months cycle, nearly. And um, sorry, 28th of April, did I say? Yeah. So magical dog in our life. And that came on the back of a uh, Deck of another dog earlier on in Sedona, and that was really sad and unexpected. And it's being with that energy of coming into balance with the dark and light that's what today is all about. On the 12th day, the structure we began this 20 day cycle with red crystal dragon and getting clear crystal clear about our survival issues, our mother issues, our nurturing issues, our Neptunian delusions and illusions that we've been conditioned, that we use as a coping mechanism to avoid the reality of our life that doesn't feel happy and joyful. And the cards reflecting that today. So we've got eye mix, and we've also got the death card. And we've also got the ace of swords. New mindsets, sword of truth. So that's white mirror energy and red dragon. They both have Neptune. And white mirror is our holograph that we can see had a lovely meeting with a friend yesterday who has no knowledge of the Mayan calendar, but the words that she was saying were just echoing the holograph model, which is you have to work on the inside, then the outside changes. As frustrating as that may be for people who are doing spiritual practices, but they aren't healing their emotional story and their amygdala, this is where EFT comes in. Nothing changes unless you do this work and remove the behaviours as well. And often we can't move the behaviours because we're still stuck in the old story and we're not yet ready to release and come out of the fear. We're not ready to confront our own fears, our own demons. I saw a great poster yesterday in a holistic shop and it said I no longer accept the things I cannot change I'm changing the things I cannot accept I don't know who the name was with that I just remember the quote um, but that just really struck a chord with me that was just pure magic and of course Energetically, we have to accept the things that we cannot change in the first place. We have to come into peace with them. It doesn't mean that we accept that they're right, absolutely not. Um, or the behaviors that have happened to us are acceptable. That isn't what I'm saying at all. This is about just coming into acceptance that these things have happened and dealing with the emotions that are still within us, still embodied any fear that we have of taking action, any thought processes around that that are holding us back because we're scared that that's going to happen again. We can't raise ourselves up and look over the parapet in case we get shot down. That analogy is very powerful, isn't it? And this has happened to us in many, many lifetimes. So it's working wisely now without sacrificing ourselves. And the death card really is about that. Again, I just love the magic of the cards and how they show the days. 
and number 13. And again, I'll put a link underneath. So today is a great day to look at IMIX, which is Red Dragon. That's the other name for it, Red Dragon. Red Dragon is the initiator. It's what this cycle is all about. It's the return to the sacred feminine. We create the new earth through us. We birth the new earth through us. We are the skywalkers. We are the channels. And so tomorrow, Saturday, we go into the final. And I'll do another longer video about that tomorrow. Portal day tomorrow. What happens to you yesterday on that portal day? A blue storm. And... Remember that blue storm and yellow sun are connected. They both have Pluto. We're going to have some wild Pluto energy happening this year because we're coming right into the last throes of it. And it's recognizing whenever we're in the, the last energies of anything on a personal level as well, where we're starting to make these inner changes, and we're starting to pull out of circles of influence that no longer match our personal evolution. That often we will get situations, we'll get people show up, sort of asking us whether we still want to participate, whether we still want to stay in the comfort zone that is slowly killing us, both on a physical level and a mental level and our heart's not in it. So remember, if your heart's not in it, be in it. And the sooner that we do that, the sooner that we really align with our spiritual path, we go through those gateways. So today, we are focusing on the shadow story and how much of it is still showing up in our lives. I've done loads of tapping on that this morning, loads of things coming up for me this morning. Um, I had some very powerful dreams last night, and I find that if I wake up and I tune in to those feelings, because again, the dreams are showing us what is unresolved in our unconscious mind, so I was tapping on going back to the early 2000s and how I was feeling at that time. I was going through a very, very uncomfortable time, going through my North Node return for the second time. And it was so challenging. Everything about my life was falling apart at that time and it didn't feel good. Of course, it had to happen for a reason, and we were making a big shift at that time to move to a different village, having a different life, and this has happened throughout my life where I've moved and had a new beginning, and now seeing that with different eyes. It's going to be a powerful year with Saturn going into Pisces in March and restructuring our dreams, connecting to what we're here for more and more and getting really good boundaries, being disciplined as well. Remember, I've got my workshop coming up just over a week now. So if you haven't signed up yet, please do join us. It's going to be a really powerful time. I do need time to do your code for you and I need time to send you a questionnaire so you've got time to think about what you want to focus on. So if you haven't booked yet and you're wanting to come, please book over the weekend so I've got time to go into those juicy details of what your adventure is showing up for you this year, the challenges you're going to have, the sword of truth, cutting through those brambles and making our way to the palaces of possibilities, as Gary Craig says. If you haven't checked out EFT yet, check out emofree.com. It can be one of the most powerful decisions you can make in your lifetime is to start using EFT 
and be prepared for your life to shift magically. Because every day when you tap, you clear an old story and you clear your energy on a very deep level and your holograph does change. Lots of love to you all. See you soon. Bye for now.